but let's let let us see the entire live stream yep all right so we have the uh i didn't know we actually have the uh we actually have a uh a maintenance note here but the delicious yummy chips actually sent it to us so let's have a, let's have a, a little bit of a look -see. how is it it's boig is it boig it's okay okay let's see what they have i mean we kind of went over the because they do like a post on their Twitter that kind of shows like a... It's just... It's like a picture. It's like... It's like... It's, uh, it only has pictures. You're like, oh, so this is what's going on. But here, we have the deets. We have the deets. The details. Which is stuff we appreciate. We like them details. So let's see what they have to say to us. Let's see what they've got in stock for the kitty. So we'll have Luke. Sadly, they don't have... Um, they don't have Enterprise trying to play the Shamisen and messing things up but we do have words black on white so let's see dear Shikikan! Shikikan! headquarters for car maintenance on 9 12 12 a.m utc minus 7 which is uh this is like 9 a.m for me because i think i'm utc plus two so this is from 9 a.m until 5 p.m. for me, approximately 8 hours. That's a long freaking maintenance. Is it always this long? Any change in the update progress will be announced on our Facebook X page. X, formerly Twitter. I can't believe they forgot to write that. During the maintenance period, our service will be unavailable. Blah. We apologize for the inconvenience. I better get some sweet loot. For a huge event, sometimes 10? That's crazy. Are we getting are we getting compensated for the maintenance by by getting delicious oil? <laughs> Gotta sip on that oil. Target servers. All of them. <laughs> All the servers. All of them. List of new contents. Okay. New events. That's what we like. Available for a limited time between 9, 12, 10, 2. Blah blah blah. The old of ever-blooming crimson. During the events, play event stages to collect event PT to earn a special reward. You know. So by sorting during the events, you can get points, which will allow you to exchange for reward, including limited characters, Hie, Meta. You'll also be able to get Ayase, which is uh, the cat girl with the blue hair. She's very cute. And uh, obviously, we'll probably get a, be able to exchange them for a bunch of resources, like cognitive chips and, you know, oil coins, if you really want those. You'll probably be able to get, like, some... I would assume there's going to be some uh, gear as well. I mean, if it's like a big event, I think there's, gonna, there's probably going to be um, a gear, right? I, when there was the rerun for um, Vanguard, there was the um, the big uh, rainbow colored one, right? So I feel like that maybe it's going to be that. Yeah, 3k all 2.5 gems. Yeah, as compensation for the for the for the thingy, yeah, that's good. Should we go for even PT leaderboard? Do you actually get something from the leaderboard? Is there actually a leaderboard thing? Do you get rewarded for it? Alright, next we also have the dreamy day in Dream Park. So this is most likely a continuation of what we've had in the game. Uh, with the whole thing with Ark Royale going to the theme park, trying to see what everyone tried to design. Uh, so here we get to play mini games and explore Dreamland to get great reward. Uh, I think it's gonna be a free skin probably. Amongst other things, so that's cool. Mantra Cake Tower. New reward rounds unlocked every day until 9.18. Complete minigames to get reward. So I assume this is going to be similar to the, the range thingy that we got during the Western uh, events minigame. Where you had to, to catch some Manju Buffalo and, and Cowju and Buffalo Jews and whatever they were called. Which, uh, that's cool. So that's nice to get some free rewards here. That's pretty neat. I appreciate that. Just play a small mini game every day, get some cool rewards. It's it's good. Uh, we also have the special login campaign. You'll get some great rewards from logging uh, during the campaign, which it's too bad they don't give you more details here, to be honest. But uh, I mean, you can expect the usual. Call to arms, Naraka, phase two. 
Um, phase two, use the sheet from phase one of the event to complete event mission, earning training points and get a limited portrait frame. So actually phase one has been happening um, already. And uh, for the sheeps that you can use, I know that you can use uh, a Maggie and Shinano. But there's a, there's a lot of other Sakura sheep that do take part of this. Um, so yeah, the frame looks kind of cute. It's nice. Uh, we also have rental outfit. So this is for the, um, the L2D and the dynamic one. So we can rent one of three outfits which are a Maggie, Throne of Fallen Petals, it's the one with the beautiful dress, the abuba, the feet, the wand, all of the stuff, Watarate, Garments of Everlasting Magic. This one, in my opinion, is the best looking one. Because, like, I think it's, it's very cool looking. It's very sensual, but without being over the top, and I kind of like that. It's a, it's a little bit more subdued. It's the, the one where she has, like, a, a pumpkin chariot or whatever it's called. It's very pretty. And she looks very good. And then we have a glimpse of the moon rabbit, which upsets me enormously because I guess it doesn't actually have her rabbit with her. On her base outfit, she actually has a little white rabbit on her head. And in this skin, she doesn't. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not into this one. But uh, what that is, it definitely. Uh, available for limited time between blah blah blah. During the event, players under level 80 will earn double commander and ship XP from sorties. That's awesome! I'm still under level 80. That's like a that's like a nice catch-up XP event. That's nice for new players, like me and Yummy, for example. Definitely a new player. That's really cool. I like this. I'm gonna try to catch up to you guys. I feel left out! What that's what you get! <laughs> oh my god, new characters, Avagi C V, what that is a Hie, Suzunami. Um, we're supposed to be, there's another character, right? That is not rate up. Uh, what's her name? I don't freaking remember, dude. There's like a new character that's not rate up. Oh no, Hie is the one that's not rate up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hie is here, but she's not rate up during the, the construction pool uh, event. Which is something. A milestone ship. Yeah, 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 she is. Um, Amagi will have a rate of 1.2 in the upcoming limited construction. Additionally, after every 200 event construction attempt, an additional copy of Amagi can be obtained. Limit of 4 times. So, essentially, this means there's a hard P. If you, after 200 pool, which is 400 cubes, you have a free copy of Amagi that you can redeem. Uh, this process won't be affected by whether Amagi CV appears in the construction attempt or not. So, like, maybe you're super lucky and get, like, 4 Amagis. You'll still get a 5th Amagi once you reach 200 pool, which is nice. Uh, here Meta 0.5, 0 .0 Milestone is Ayase. Oh, can't you get both? I thought that uh, here Meta may be uh, able to be exchanged in the shop, but maybe not. Wait, isn't she? No, look at that. During the events, sorted to event stage to earn even PT and exchange them for reward, including the limit character here Meta. EA is shop, meta, map drop, and five. Oh, milestones, that is, if you get enough points, you just unlock Ayazi directly. Meanwhile, here you have to exchange them. Okay, big brain, big brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good stuff, that's good stuff. Hey, I'll take it. So, essentially, if I compare to the previous big events, um, Ayazi is like Herring, and here Meta is like Fargo. That's how I understand it, right? Uh, that's cool. Then we have new character. We read that. Blah, blah, blah. Exact comparison. Yep. There we go. Exchange available in PT Shop for a little time. This is the same as before. Here, Meta, Ayase. New retrofit. I'm actually super happy with this retrofit. Marilyn retrofit looks super cool. I, uh, I really like that she... Now we have, like, the bruiser. Between her and Indiana, they're, like, wrecking shit. <laughs> I will say though, Indiana has the whole, the full stand. She has like a JoJo stand. Marilyn has only the feast, but uh, she knows how to use it for sure. Like you guys are gonna find out that feast can be a verb. That's crazy. <laughs> then we have the new skins, obviously. 
for a Maggie. And we have confirmation, unfortunately, for those that were coping, hoping, all of the good good. And that is that this skin is for Amagi CV only. Please note, Amagi CV and Amagi BC cannot share skins. Unfortunately, they will not be sharing skins. Purchase with that in mind. If you don't intend to get a Maggie CV, don't buy her skin. You'll be incredibly disappointed when you realize you can't equip it on your Amagi BC. Then we have obviously the garments. We get skin for Wataraze, Ayaze, Belfast. Um, which is the skins for Belfast? Oh, is it the butterfly one? I think it might be the butterfly one. No, the butterfly one is for Sheffield. Fubuki Z35. Um, this one is the Shibari in the water. This one is the magical girl. This is the bikini in the amusement park. This is just the ball gown. Which one is Belfast? I don't know. <gasps> oh, I do know. It's the one with the boob explosion. <laughs> with a boob <laughs> yeah 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 and the boob goes and then she grabs a boob with the left hand it's crazy it's crazy i can't believe they did that it's this is it this skin right there is insane oh my god i was i was talking about how the skins were crazy in these games and i was i was talking about fargo's skin with the milk being splashed on her and it looks like cum is all over her and somebody in the comments said, Fargo's skin was incredibly tame. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's not that, it's not tame because she's not naked. Like, just because she's not naked doesn't mean it's tame. It's the implication of the skin. It's the implication of the milk being splashed on her. Come on, let's get real. Just because she's not naked doesn't mean it's tame. Man, the amount of coomers is crazy. Anyway, moving on, I, I, it just triggers me. Rerun skin, Tachino, Robert's Floral Strings. <gasps> is that the one I saw? I think, is this the one where Tachino is stuck in the... I think this is the one I saw. This is the one where she's stuck, isn't she? Okay, no, it's not. Okay, okay, it's a different character. We're good, we're good. I think. No, that's an oak skin. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine. Jesus Christ, the booba is crazy. I broke Twitter. Yep. Hakuryu! We're getting, so the rerun, we're getting 3 L2D rerun for Kachino, Hakuryu, Hatsuzuki. We're also getting a dynamic rerun for Owari, and then multiple reruns for Beach Paradise, all by Rough Seas, for Natori, Asanagi, Nautilus, Katsuragi, and Shimakaze. Those are all um, summer skin, I believe. These here, I think it's like, it's just, um, they all look like they are in their swimwear, right? And then we have the permanently available skin for Mden, Moon Silver Union, and U81 Lantern Lead Full Moon. Uh, very, very nice. Waiting for her to break Twitter again with the next skin. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing that everybody's been waiting for. New items in shop. Dreamland Lucky Bag. One purchase limited. So this is the bag that gives you 2024 gems. It also gives you... Um, I think it gives you 20 cubes, 10 drills, some coins. It gives you a random skin amongst the new one. Um, it's, it's, this is like 30 bucks. And by comparison, if you try to get 2k gems, it's like 40 bucks in the shop, the shop, right? So this is like super worth it if you do want to spend some money in the game. We also have a fashion collection lucky bag rerun. Um, so I don't know which one this is. I assume there's like a bunch of skin in it. 
Uh, but I don't know which skin are gonna be in this Fashion Collection Lucky Bag rerun. But it's also limited. And then we have the Iridescent Fantasy Pack Basic and Premium. Uh, and all those back and packs are limited for one purchase. It says here that the Iridescent Fantasy Pack Basic contains the Battle UI theme Iridescent Fantasy. And the Premium one contains the, the same thing. Plus... 3060 gems. Uh, you can only choose to buy one version. Limited strategy supplies, fire purchases limited. Oh, this is a different line. Oh my god! Li literally unreadable! Azulane! Messing up their patch notes! They forgot to go to the line! Oh my god! I'm uninstalling. This is outrageous. I can't read this. We're moving on. This is this is disgusting. I don't know what the limited strategic supply is. Um, decor token. I think this is just a little bit of supplies. Like uh, this is like a small pack. I think uh, it's like the one that costs like five bucks, and you can buy them multiple times or something. Uh, I'm not too sure. Anyway, we're getting the new furniture, which is the Dream Park theme. Uh, it looks kind of cute if you're into that. I prefer to have something a bit more subdued. I prefer to have like a, a normal kind of room. It's the oil. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. So you got like oil pack and then the core token pack and connective chip packs. Okay. 2k all for 100 gems? Damn, that's expensive. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I, I think here what has me the most interested would be the first two here. Like those two, because like it gives you a bunch of different resources. And I think I really like that. The problem with the, the fantasy pack is it's just... When they say battle UI, I assume this is just like, um, this is like, um, weapon skins, right? Or is that something else? I feel like this is just skins. It's 120 gems. It's even more expensive! Uh, new gear box, gear skin box dream pack. Okay. Just a gram. New content added. Oh, yeah, this is the one that they post, like, some cute chibi pictures, and you can just comment on them. I think it's kind of cute. CV updates. Characters. Oh, the, these... It just to tell you who the Seiyu are gonna be. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big uh, knower when it comes to voices, so I would not be able to tell you. Um, so here we just have essentially the information as to who voices whom. Um, I assume it's always going to be the same characters, even for the old skins. Unless something happened. EX? What's EX? What does EX mean? Yeah, I mean, this is all VAs, but what does EX mean here? Because we got characters, skins, and EX. Oh, it just means that the VA are being... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see. So this is this essentially means these are the new voice actors. And these are potentially voice actors that were already here before, I guess. Okay. Yeah, fine. Alright, uh, system optimization, cosmic were updated, dome food, naval curry has been changed to Osmantus cake. Oh, that's cute. Added a new, fe new feature, battle UI. You can change the battle UI in profile style, battle UI. After this minute, the battle UI original and battle UI new will be unlocked by default. Yeah, I actually saw that new UI a while back. Uh, that's pretty cool. Fix the problem that the interactive content of some characters like 2D skins was not triggered normally. Optimize curry to some image and text, is, uh, text story. And then we have some event reminders to tell you that Call to Arms Arca Phase 1, Emergency Module in Development, and Whence Flower Bears No Fruit are gonna be terminated when the patch goes live. So if you haven't finished them, I... You should get to it, essentially, right? Because the, the patch is gonna be starting relatively soon. Uh, you have maybe 12 hours to do it, essentially. Now, a friendly reminder, during the maintenance, do not delete your game. You cannot play the game. Please quit the game before the maintenance begins. The duration of the maintenance will be just according to the progress of the patch. And then we have compensation, 2,500 coins and 3,300 oils. 
Um, okay. So, um, that's pretty nice. We're getting some a nice little conversation here. Um, lovely. So, yeah, I think overall the patch looks pretty good. It's just essentially not much that's really new, but we, we do got some extra comments and information regarding, like, uh, percentage chance, how you can unlock some of the characters specifically, and, um... Uh, yeah, we, we do get to see who are the, the voice actresses, which is kind of nice. Is um is it the the same voice actress for Amagi CV and Amagi BC? Let me see. Amagi BC voice actress. I mean, I assume it is. But, I mean, I want to check. Yep, it is. Okay. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, like, characters go through something, maybe decided to go with a different voice. Especially because, like, a Maggie, she's, like, super sick. A Maggie BC, she's, like, coughing all the time, so maybe they, they had, like, a more of a, like, weak, like, uh, a style of voice that would be weaker or something. And they, they could have decided to go with a different voice actress or something. But it's nice to see it's gonna be the same person. So, yeah, overall... I, I'm super excited, personally. I, I'm looking forward to the new events. I've been... I feel like this event storyline, like this storyline with the Sakura Empire and the dream and the illusion and stuff, has been going on for like 10 events or something, and I, I'm losing my mind. I need to see it come through to the end. I'm gonna see... I won't... Give me my happy ending! <laughs> I need my happy ending! Give it to me! I want them to come back. I want everyone to be happy. Don't kill them. I'm sure nothing's gonna be bad, right? Surely. Nagato meta being a thing doesn't mean anything. Like, uh, yay, having a meta version doesn't mean... I'm sure everything is fine. Surely nothing bad's gonna happen. <laughs> As your lane was known to higher varying degrees of VA, so a lot of VA that blew up will still come back out of thankfulness. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Um, it's really, really cool. I love to see, like, um, all those VAs, like, in, uh, in gacha games, like, with those rules and stuff. Um, it's, uh, it's cool to, to know that, like, they, they still come back to do their, their lines. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still work, right? I don't know if they have, like, long-lasting contract for the kind of things, but, uh, it's nice. Uh, compare that with, uh... <laughs> Freaking uh, snow break. In snow break, because they went full degens, some of the VAs were like, um, yeah, we're not comfortable voicing those characters anymore. Like, uh, we thought this was just gonna be like a, a shooter, like war stuff, apocalyptic world game. And now you're trying to make me, you want me to sound like I'm giving a, a blowjob? I'm fine. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> snow break went way too far. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of why I kind of like this game, to be honest. Azure Lane, I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that are like, you know, for the Coomers and the Gooners out there. And I completely respect that. But also, I feel like it doesn't really. This. It doesn't detract from the actual game itself and like the story. And um, I kind of, I prefer that because I feel like when everything is just sexualized and like the storyline is just like full horny, that kind of puts me off. But when it's a nice balance of like the character looks super hot and they have like super horny skins, I think it's fine. Because you can, you can choose to opt in or opt out, you know what I mean? Meanwhile, like Snowbreak just went full degen and like if you play the game, you don't really have a choice. And that's why I got like kind of walked away from it because it was not enjoyable for me but yeah anyway uh love to see it super excited i'm gonna be playing it tomorrow definitely i think the 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 uh, domain is actually gonna end around the time i tend to start a game so we're trying to compete with brown dust 2 to be fair i do like brown dust 2 but again brown dust 2 is not super horny into its storyline like the brown dust 2 storyline is pretty dark and gritty to be honest um, but yeah, it has some horny designs, uh, it has some, a bit more horny, but it's more on the comedic style. It's, it's not too overwhelming in the story, and that doesn't bother me too much. Oh, I'm time to quit the lane true. They decided to way too hard, yeah. I, I don't mind with Brandos too, it's like, it's whatever. 
Uh, but like Snowbreak, I think the problem I have with Snowbreak is that it really did a 180 on their content. And uh, yeah, it's too much. I don't, I don't like it. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, I um, good stuff. Looking forward to it. Very excited. I'm most excited for Hiei Meta and for Amagi CV, 100%. I, I'm so looking forward to them. Oh, and also Maryland Retrofit. Ooh, that's gonna be some good stuff. I hope they're good. I hope they're good. I don't know what the ships do, but uh, I, I'm super excited to see the kit. Anyway, cheers. Blah, blah.